what I enjoyed doing as a kid was building forts. Kind of laid the pathway to what I like to do now. I'm just a big kid still building forts, kind of. <laughs> I love natural materials and I love the, the shapes of sticks. I'm really fond of what I can do with them. I can manipulate them and bend them to certain degrees. And, and then it's extended on and working with a variety of other materials as well where I'm using metal in that same fashion. My name is Kelly Brown. I run a creative manufacturing venue called Bowerbird Sculpture. We work with a variety of different materials from sticks to steel to wood, everything we can get our hands on, bicycle parts included. I came up here to graduate school to University of Tennessee to get my master's degree and, and really kind of fell in love with the great outside around here. I mean, East Tennessee is beautiful and has so much to offer. I really loved going up into the mountains and the Smokies and then I really fell in love with rock climbing, putting up new rock climbing routes, and uh, I just really enjoyed doing that. I love that sense of adventure, and it's kind of been a big part of my life. Yeah. I was gonna come down. Well, I've always drawn pictures. I've always been able to draw. I had the ability to render. Up and into there. I've always sort of wanted to be an artist. It was either gonna be an artist or an architect, and I think some of the things that I build now that do have some sort of architectural elements as well. But a lot of, like I said before, came from that extension of building forts as a kid because, you know, I could hear my mom ringing the dinner bell and it's like, come, come to dinner. But I didn't even want to leave because I was so enthralled in my activity at the time where I was so focused on creating something and wanting to get the fort done. And, you know, I'd lose track of time. And, and it was a real kind of catalyst behind, you know, the way I look at art making now. All right. Well, I've done some pieces uh, for Iams Nature Center. For one, Joe's Grove, which was a, a children's play area that uh, is right there near the visitor center at Iams. Some of the ones that I get into that for kids I call twigloos. They look like igloos, but they're made out of sticks or twigs. Pieces are supposed to be interactive. You know, it's not something just to look at, but you go inside, you touch the sticks. The sticks have a certain sense of smell. So it's like a lot of the different senses are aroused through these, you know, interactions with them. I had the opportunity of creating some bigger twiglu type pieces for Navitat, which was a canopy traverse company that's right there at IAMS as well. We did a, what they call the nest, which is uh, about 40 feet in the air and built in pieces. And it was kind of an engineering feat in a lot of ways to get the thing up a platform that high in the air. And we also did the, the entry platform, which is they call the tree house. I've created some things out of bicycle parts. And the bicycles, I'll cut them up into pieces and then use them as lines. I'm using more metal pieces now and, and I like to retain the color of the bikes that they originally had and different kinds of shapes and things where I'm kind of like in a lot of ways painting with the with the bicycle pieces. Well I had an opportunity of creating a piece for Legacy Parks or Outdoor Knoxville when I built a an arch out of bicycles. You know I did like a, a call out on social media to try to get bikes so I could get enough of them and then you know, drew up a design and pitched the idea and then we started building the, the, the shape of the thing and then and working with uh, Legacy Parks and the city of Knoxville to try to, to get uh, a piece that would be a nice little reflection of our outdoor community and basically the bike community had embraced it. And I had another opportunity uh, to, to build a piece. I call him Radman and he sits out in front of Alliance Brewery. He's made out of bicycle parts and, and I try to kind of capture the character of a lot of the mountain bikers around here. You see them with their big flowing beard riding down the hills and stuff, so I tried to emulate that character. We did a, a pig for Archer's Barbecue and then it really uh, didn't fit into the, to the scheme of things that they wanted. So. Uh, the Preservation Pub bought it. So the story goes like this. The pig didn't want to get barbecued, so he took a walk around Market Square and he went up there to the Magic Beer Fountain, had a little taste, and 
just decided that uh, he's going to grow some wings and uh, he became the protector of the still. So that's the story behind the, the pig at the Preservation Pub. So if you go up there and rub his nose and that means you'll come back to the pub again someday. <laughs> kind of uh, my stuff I've been storing for the digger. I have been collecting digging pieces. Uh, anything that has to, something to do with digging. I've got shovel blades and pickaxes. I've got four plows now from the 1800s or not early turn of the century for this vision I have. It's, it's the digger. He's like my Rodan thinker. He's like um, when I get in a very contemplated state, I put a shovel in my hand and I dig. And I've made smaller mock models of them around too, but like uh, I visualize this thing and I wanna make, I wanna make him. I wanna create the digger. Most people consider what I did a stick art. I heard it called a variety of different things too. I've even called it recycled art. Some people have even said something, say for instance, it's environmental art because I've used natural materials or recycled materials in ways that fit the project. I'm not one for labels. I consider myself an artist. I work with a variety of different materials and I love creating things that, that I find interesting, that I feel like other people would find interesting as well.